What's going on guys? Welcome and welcome back to Dan Reacts. I'm Dan. This is my reaction channel. I am here with the one and only Queen Addy. Queen! Queen Addy. I thought it would be appropriate title in honor of the last episode, Queen's Justice. I appreciate that, you know. Queen Addy. You haven't gotten me my crown yet. Season 8. Season 8. We'll get you a crown. I want it now! We'll get you a crown. Season 8. Very excited for this episode. Come off that last episode. We lost Elena. Very, very big. Big defeat for us audience R. members. R.I.P. Can you, do you think there's anyone out there that was like, yes, finally they killed her? Probably. <laughs> probably. probably. There's somebody out there with every hot take. Mm -hmm. I saw someone in our comments that was like, I honestly, like, really liked Joffrey. Like, I was sad when he died. Like, I saw some somebody say that. I was like, work. That's a, I mean, quite an opinion. So I'm sure there's someone. I think Ramsey's one of the most collective opinions, I think, where everyone's pretty, like, on fuck the Ramsey. same page. Fuck Ramsey. Yeah. But I feel like, why would you not be fuck Joffrey? But whatever. <laughs> he was a boy. He was young. He didn't know. Yeah, he did, though. He knew what he was doing. <laughs> he knew. Uh, I, one thing that we didn't really discuss that was kind of, you know, interesting in that last episode was the interaction between Melisandre and Varys. Her kind of... Yeah, referencing that they were both going to die. Yeah, very She's interesting. She's like, oh, I'll be back one more time. You and I will both die on this country. Like, it's... Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Interesting to hear. <laughs> Don't like to hear that about Varys. Uh, Dude, everybody dies in such horrific ways on the show. Um, which is why it's like, thank God, Elena. Like, if she was for sure oh, going to die. She was, the, she was so, the most pleasant death, I feel, mm -hmm. that we've had. Wait, have we had one that was easier? No. <laughs> Because, like, I would say, oh, getting beheaded, but you, when you get beheaded, you have to do it in front of, like, the whole town. It's, a, it's like an embarrassment. A public, public. Uh, the public. Uh, the public thing. You know, she got to die just in her house. In her room, just up Comfortable, some wine. Comfortable, dressed up so, like, black for her own funeral. Like You were very, like, like, it, and she does it in a way where it's very shocking, where it's like, he tells her, and she just, without even hesitation, grabs it and chugs it. You were like... Oh, that's oh, it. She's like, just she's doing it. She's dying for yeah. sure right now in this moment. Mm -hmm. And it's like, yeah, it's very shocking the way she just grabs it and... She just accepts her fate. So fucking brave. I love her. She is... She's everything to me. Was everything to you. The spirit of a woman that lives on. <laughs> lives on forever, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, well, I'm very, very excited for this. Uh, I think we should waste any more time. Let's get into it. This episode uh, definitely is a favorite of mine, so... Let's not waste any more time. Game of Thrones, season seven, episode four. The spoils of war. What do you think that means? The spoils of war. Well, the to... spoils of war means like when you get something just because you're doing war. Like when you're able to like pillage houses, rape women, all that good stuff. That's the spoils of war. So I'm assuming it'll be a play on that type uh, of imagery. We'll see. We'll see. I just gave. It's not a castle. Ron really wants that castle. He's like, I want a castle and a wife. I've How much more clear could I make it? Seasons. I've been promised it several times. So, Bron, will you accompany the Tarleys and help them accelerate this process? My lord. My lord. My lord. My lord. I must say, I don't think the Iron Bank has ever had a debt of this magnitude repaid in a single installment. I need to expand my armies, my navies. My hand, Kyburn, has made overtures to the Golden Company in Essos. I too would like them to recover some things that belong to me. You can count on the Iron Bank's support. Uh, as soon as the gold arrives. He's like, not yet, though. The last man who wielded it meant to cut your throat. Your mother fought him off. I wasn't there for her when she needed me most. But I am here for her now. To go through all of that and make your way home again only to find such chaos. I can only imagine. Chaos is a ladder. I'm sorry to have disturbed you, Mr. I'm not old stuck. I shot him up quick. Do you remember like, when he said that? Oh no, I saw. 
You're leaving. When they come, I need to be with my family. You don't need me anymore. No, I don't. My brother died for you. Hodor and Summer died for you. I almost died for you. You died in that cave. What a sad ending for her character right now. She just got no reward. Nothing. No thanks. And that statement feels so, like, real. You died in that cave. And yeah, it's like, the truth. you're not Brandon anymore. Hey, yo. Where are you going? Tell Sansa her sister's home. Lady Sansa is too busy to waste a breath on you. If I'm not who I say I am, it won't last long. But if I am, and Sansa finds out you turn me away, Yeah. Yeah. Let me in. Let me in immediately. I'm your fucking boss. Go tell Lady Stark I'll watch her. Can you imagine coming home for the first time after yeah. everything? It probably would look so different to you. You know, you'd be like, oh, this doesn't even look like Well, home. yeah, it's like not... It's kind of ruined. Yeah, and the last time you were there, you were like, your perspective on life is just so different. Like, yeah. We were standing right next to her, and he comes in asking for uh, Sir Roderick Trick, yeah. and Maester Lewin. Lewin. Yeah. I know where she is. Do I have to call you Lady Stark now? Yes. Sisters. You shouldn't have run from the guards. I didn't run. You knew better guards. John left you in charge. He did. I remember how happy he was to see me when he sees you. His heart will probably stop. <laughs> they say you killed Joffrey. However long my list got, he was always first. Your list? Of people I'm going to kill. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I'm not joking. She's at like, all. cute, huh? They look like babies when they're together. Like, I'm like, oh, they're children again. Brand's home, too. She's like, well, go see She's for like, yourself. Before you get too excited. These Stark reunions! Did you I ever know. think you were gonna get this? It felt like never. You came home. She's like, hi! Hi, <laughs> Oh, look, he hugged her back. He just didn't want to hug Sansa. Where did you get this? This little thing, you gave it to me. He's not a generous man. He wouldn't give you anything unless he thought he was getting something back. Doesn't matter. What do you mean, it doesn't matter? I don't want it. It's Valyrian steel. It's wasted on a cripple. Not really. You can still stab people if they're trying to attack you. That was a big deal. Bran giving her that almost felt like, oh, something's being set into motion. Yeah. Look at them. I just see them all as children when they're together. The Stark kids. Catelyn Stark would be proud. You kept your vow. Thank you, Patrick. I need more of them. I know we've gotten that. They're not in this enough. That's like the first exchange we've seen from them. They could literally just, like, say Catelyn's name, and I'm like, <laughs> Catelyn! I wanted you to see it before we start hacking it to bits. There is something else I want to show you, you great. Mm. 
hieroglyphics. The children of the forest made these. They were right here. Standing where we're standing. They were here together. The children and the first men. Doing what? They fought together against their common enemy. We need to do the same if we're going to survive. And you say you can't defeat them without my armies and my dragons? No, I don't think I can. I will fight for you. I will fight for the North when you bend the knee. Isn't their survival more important than your pride? It's interesting because remember when John was trying I was to convince say, he said that exact thing to Mance Raider. There's been a lot of like repeated quotes this season, mm -hmm. I feel like. What is it? We took cross the rock. That's very good to hear. No. No. You'll want to discuss this amongst yourselves. You Perhaps. stay. We still have enough ships to carry the North Rack into the mainland. Commit to the blockade of King's Landing. We have a plan. If I have underestimated our enemies... Our enemies? Your family, you mean? She got serious with him. What do you think I should do? He's like, I would go to the Red King. The people who follow you know that you made something impossible happen. But if you use them to melt castles and burn cities, you're not different. You're just more of the same. Turns like what I was saying. <clears throat> my whole point the entire time. I would like to re enter the chat, please. <laughs> Reunion. Hi, guys. Nice sword. Very nice dagger. It's been a while since I trained. I can go and find the Master of Arms for you, my lady. You didn't beat the Hound. You swore to serve both my mother's daughters, didn't you? Enough. Enough. Take your smirk. Like, stop it. She's She won't even look at the smirk anymore. She's like, Ugh. Anyways. You can't use that, my lady. It's too small. I won't cut you. Don't worry. Got him. Aria. What? She is so cool. Santa's like, wait, who are you? My sister is fucking badass. A draw. Who told you how to do that? No one. That was good. What do you think of her? I think she has a good heart. A good heart? I've noticed you're staring at a good heart. Uh. So Davos, Lord Snow. Your name is Jon Snow, but your father's name was Ned Stark. No, I'm a bastard. We don't have marriage in Narth, so the concept of a bastard doesn't exist. That's very nice, Miss Andy. Why did you leave your homeland? I was stolen away by slavers. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I serve my queen because I want to serve my queen. Because I believe in her. She's not our queen because she's the daughter of some king we never knew. She's the queen we chose. Will you forgive me if I switch sides? Uh, that was a very compelling speech. No, honestly, though, she's like, none of the people that she came with know anything about your guys' history. Like, we don't care about your politics. Yeah, we we're... care about her. Yeah. This is going to be interesting. What's the last he knows about Theon? Everything. 
He knows everything? Well, he knows that he killed Bran and Rickon and took Winterfell. Okay, so he does not know anything. That's yeah. what I was asking. He knows the public I was asking, like, if he knew that he didn't kill the No, man. that's not public. Sansa. Is she alright? What you did for her is the only reason I'm not killing you. Oh no, Sansa probably did tell him that he didn't do everything. Yeah. Okay. The queen is gone. Where did she go? <sighs> she went on a run. She went with her dragons. She went with her dragons to go kill Cersei. Yeah. All the gold safely through the gates of King's Landing. Good. With your permission, flogging stragglers has a marked effect on mobility. Let's give them fair warning first. Things been fought well at Highgarden. Creep. He's like, no, I'm gonna flog them without warning them. Right. Okay. okay. Yeah. All my life, we've been placed to house Tyrell. I knew some of those men. I didn't expect it to smell like that. Men shit themselves when they die. What? Whose hoofbeats are those? Those fuckers are about to swamp us. We can hold them off. You cannot hold them off. She did not listen to the advice she was given. That's a terrifying sight if you're the other army. We wanted to see what Danny and Westeros was going to look like. This is what it looks like. So badass. I was just about to say, they are the most badass army. Can you imagine watching this episode like in a movie theater? I know, it'd be sick. What a shot. I mean, like, what are you gonna do? Nothing. Bounced right off. Carmen and Scorpion is over there. Go get it then. I can't shoot with one hand. He's like, gun. Jimmy was like, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh 
Oh. Wow. Minister Shafki, that's Bolajo. It's an interesting Violent. perspective to see this from a negative point of view. You know, we're yeah. typically happy when the dragon. Yeah, but to see it as so violent, like... I don't want any of them to die. I want them all to keep living. It's a very conflicting battle. It feels so, like, dark compared to the other. <laughs> did he die? I can't Ooh. tell. It doesn't Ooh. look like he did. What an episode. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god. I yeah. Insane. Yeah. Insane. That was it was so good for the whole like almost all the episode. I was like, I'm writing down way too many things that I like in this episode. Like some shit's about to happen. Boy, did it happen. Boy, did it. Yeah. The moment those hoofs beats start happening. You're, you're just like. Oh, what's going to happen? What's going to happen? What's going to happen? What's going to happen? Oh, my God. I don't know. I don't know. That's one of those first fights, I think, in the show where you're so like, Jamie and Braun, I love them. They're my everything. But then right. Danny and her team, like, they also They're need to win. Like, well. Oh, And when the dragon gets shot. I know. I thought it was going to go. Right through his head. I was like... Just dead right there. Can you imagine? Like, they just knock out one of the dragons. Oh, my God. No, it, it honestly seemed pretty unfazed once it, like, kind of yeah. came down. It was like, okay, it's not that actually It's big. like a toothpick. <laughs> it's like a little... It's the like, first time anything's, like, injured it. Yeah. Oh, I my God. I felt very conflicted about you that. You thought Jamie was going to die right there. Yeah, it seemed like it. It's a, it's a very beautifully done shot, the way that they make you think that in that like, moment... there is nothing else He's going to gonna die, and then Broad comes and gets yeah. him out of there like oh but then he's still like drowning and with like, this heavy ass armor <laughs> on yeah he's in a bad spot and he's got one hand is made of gold so that's like <laughs> not like, helpful <laughs> when you're trying to swim <laughs> oh man i was so conflicted throughout that war it's very much Our how battle, it's supposed to war. feel you're supposed to feel like, for that though oh, i'm like stressed out and i don't know if that was the right decision for her, because now people are going to know her as, like, as she fries armies alive without even, like, a second thought. Oh, and again, we're, we're typically used to her killing people that are, like, so black and white evil. That deserve it. That we yeah. never get their side of the story. And so to see her finally do it to, like, to people, people like Jamie know. and Broad, yeah. it's like... Wow, this gives it a very different feeling. She like, kind of feels like a crazy. Usually, Dracarys is a yeah, 
hot moment, and this was the first time. I know, when she said that, I was like, no. Yeah, it's the first time Dracarys feels bad. Yeah. Which is just, it's a credit to the writing, I think, and, like, just the way that they paint the scene as a whole. It just... Well, and it's, I feel like, the same theme that Game of Thrones always has, which is just that, like, nobody's good and nobody's bad. Yeah. I was definitely like you when I first watched that episode. I actually watched that episode, uh... For those that don't know, I work at a camp where sometimes I gotta stay the night. And I remember that episode came out and I was like, I don't care that I'm here. I have to watch this episode tonight. It just came out tonight. I have to watch it. So I was laying in my dorm watching this episode and everything was going just like super chill. Like, mm-hmm. And I, it was very late at night too. So it was the the first time I was watching the episode, but I was kind of like tired and like, mm. you know, just kind of waiting. Like I, I finish the episodes and go to sleep. And then all of a sudden I remember like sitting up in my bed and being like, Oh, something's happening right now. And then it was just like the rest of the episode. I was like, John comes dropping. out of nowhere because yeah. it's like, it's only episode four. Like, what, what? But of seven episodes. Yeah. We're halfway through. They got to make big shit happen. We're more than halfway through. More than halfway through. Yeah. So That's yeah, wild. it was a really wild experience. And I remember right after it happened, I texted all my friends and be like, did you guys just see what happened? And, and I remember Danny was the I same just, thing. Yeah. I, that had to have been crazy to experience like while it was. Airing. Yeah, it was just very like because then you immediately oh. would just text everyone you knew and were like, what, 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 can you believe that? Yeah, and would, everybody would just be collectively like shitting their pants all mm-hmm. at once. I'm well, shitting my pants now. The spoils of war. The spoils. Of what war. a great episode. It's crazy. And that was only the last twenty minutes. What else did you think of the episode? Well, yeah. Again, it's like one of those things where it's like, yeah, let's talk about it. Um. Braun and Jamie bantering. I like. Like, it's so <laughs> In insignificant. Compared to them eventually getting attacked. Getting, yeah. Getting well, and whooped. Do, did you ever, in that moment of Braun, when he first fell, did, your, did you ever feel like, oh, is he about to die? Yeah. I, I like, always think people are about to die. I never doubt this show's ability to true, kill true, true. anybody off. But I feel like in that scene specifically, they, like, pan in on the gold and him looking at it. And it makes you think almost like, like, he's gonna, like oh, his demise is going to be his greed right now. Or his, like, yeah, need very, to be like, with symbolic. this gold. But I'm glad mm-hmm. he didn't die. But yeah, I definitely thought that when I first saw the episode, like, the, the gold is going to make him, like, not pay attention to what's really going on right now. Like, he was going to get distracted and go after it. Yeah. Yeah. That guy getting shot, though, with that big-ass arrow and getting, like, shot. Oh, my God, I know. What a way to go. <laughs> what a way. What a big way. They, I feel bad for them. They were just so unprepared. Yeah. They, like, how could they be prepared? But... Poor dick on. Is he dead? Uh, we don't really know, but just all in all, I don't, he didn't look prepared for that battle. Like, no. He, he wasn't. Great. He was just complaining, like, a scene earlier about, like, how he didn't expect it to smell so bad. And it's like, oh, you're going to fight a dragon You're now. about to shit your pants. Yeah, this is about to be you. Yeah. Contributing to the stench. <laughs> yeah. It's sad, but... Poor Dickon. Um, Arya getting in the gate of Winterfell, I thought was funny. And reuniting with her family. That she was just like, I'm getting in there either way, so... I like the way she spins it. It's like, if I'm not who I say I am, I won't last long. If yeah. I am, you're being fucked. So, yeah, like, you might as well let me in. You might as well let me in. Obviously, Arya and Sansa, like, reuniting. Such a special moment, like, for those two characters to, like, yeah. fi- And, like, the, the last time they saw each other, they hated each other. Well, no, Sansa, like, couldn't get along with anybody. Yeah. Before. She was just, like... Everyone hated Sansa. Yeah, she was just, like, a bratty teenage girl. Yeah. But now she's... I love seeing them back together. And then, like, I wish Bran wasn't such a freak right now, because it would make it sweeter. But he's... He's lost. But that scene with Mira, I think, is really, like, it, it, it's so true. Like, yeah, he I died in that. that cave, and it's, this is no longer Bran. Yeah. He's, like, an entity now of knowledge. Yeah. Like, he's I, not, like, a person. It totally, yeah. When he says, like, I'm not really. Not I remember anymore. so much now. I'm like, Or, like, I remember so much else. I'm like, that is true. If you suddenly had the memories of, like, lifetimes and lifetimes of stuff... It w- you wouldn't feel connected to, like, your own life anymore. Yeah, your emotions are no longer your emotions. Yeah. Like, you're experiencing like, everyone else's. My memories is, like, everything. I have everyone's emotions and memories in my yeah, head right so now. Yeah, so I'm everyone. Like, <laughs> he's literally everyone. Yeah. It's like they took an audience member and made them a character in the show, and he's just, like, he saw the whole show. He's like, so... <laughs> he knows everything. I don't really care about my path anymore. Like, mm-hmm. And him giving that uh, dagger to Ari, we kind of mm-hmm. talked about it, but it felt a little, like... That, that felt It's going to mean important. something. Yeah, yeah, that felt important for sure. And I love her training with Brienne. Yes, so really cute. good to see. Really, so cute. But why was Sansa bothered? 
That would be like the last thing we need is fighting amongst the Starks. Well, and Littlefinger is very much trying to like. Like any crack in the mold, he will get in there. He's like, oh, I see something. Let me. He's uh, like, you should be careful of Arya, and you can trust me. Yeah, you can trust me always. I'll always look out and for you smirks, specifically. I'm just like, stop, stop smirking. You're not That's doing anything. Enough. You're not making anything. Happen. Not making moves. <laughs> yeah. The cave was really, really, like, oh. interesting, too, because it just really solidified, like, John's argument of, you know, I'm telling the truth. Yeah. See the drawings? You know how, like, clever Twitter is, though, when shows are coming out? I remember there was some memes of, like, John five minutes before Danny came in, and he's, it's like a, it's like someone like drawing, drawing a bunch of things, yeah. <laughs> like, just, like, crazy fast. Yeah. Or, like, that Charlie Day, like, meme where he's, like... All the strings. All the strings, Yeah. <laughs> Oh, John. That was John trying to prove his point trying to Trying to Daddy. make sure she believed him. Make sure. Yeah, that was crazy, though. That whole scene was very, like, impactful. And, and it seemed like, oh, this problem is, like, ancient. Like, this is... Real. Like, holds a lot of weight. Mm-hmm. And I love when she says, like, they were standing where we stood. Like, just that line really paints the picture of, like, this is history. This room yeah. that they're in like, they is, know like, who these people is a are. landmark on this country. Like... Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was it was very meaningful. I felt like, but she still like wouldn't cave. Didn't do what he said to with do. With the thing, yeah. <sighs> no, 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 no. Danny, I'm saying, didn't do like she still went and talked with her dragons. Like, oh, you know what I mean? Instead yeah, of like focusing John. on what he said to focus on, mm-hmm. she was like, anyways, we're gonna go do this. We're gonna go talk with my dragons like, because so I feel So it kind of angry. was like a futile effort, maybe. Yeah. Well, but I, I do think that he's working his way, kind of, with her. Because she seems, every interaction with yeah, her, she seems Yeah, but it's like, to me, chipped. I'm like, this is urgent business. You gotta, like, get this with like, the program. This is like, we gotta be doing this right now. You like, need to understand the problem. They're on the way. Like, we can't wait for you to take the throne and then do this. Like, this has gotta come first. Yeah. And we they haven't shown them the Darmy of the Dead in a while. The Darmy of the Dead. The Darmy of the Dead. And so, for me, it makes me feel like they haven't shown them in a while. So, the next time they show them, they're gonna be there. Like you know, they've like, been traveling this whole so time. much time has passed that we haven't gotten to see, yeah. and so they're just the next thing we see, they're gonna be at the door. Like, yeah, knock, hey. knock. We're, hey guys, we're here, ready to die. Did you guys figure out your plan yet? No. Gonna, okay, great. <laughs> we're gonna kill you. Yeah, we're gonna kill you, and then raise your bodies. <laughs> yeah, but um, I do think that uh, it's you commented. It's just interesting to see the the the, the, re, the repeat of almost conflict of like seasons ago. John was just looking at this person saying. Bend the knee and you'll save your people. Mm-hmm. And, and then won't for him now. to not be able to do it now, it's yeah. like, so Mansurator had a point, is what you're saying. But I feel like even at the time he knew, like, when Mance explained himself, he's like, if you don't understand why I'm not doing this, then you're not the man I thought you were. Right, exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah. And John's like, no, I get it. I get it, I get it, yeah. So maybe he learned this from Mance Rayner. Yeah, yeah. Maybe this was a lesson he took away that you shouldn't bend the knee. You shouldn't bend the knee or, but, like, I also wanted to bend the knee. But also, I would prefer that he <laughs> Because that, I love yeah. Danny and I want you guys to, like... You guys should work together. I want you to do the thing. Collaborate. Do the damn thing. Do you the damn thing. Do the damn thing. That's all I want to see. Uh, we got a little tease of it, but Sansa kind of saying, like, when John sees you, he's going to freak. It yeah. makes me just think of, like, the last time they saw each other, he gave her that sword. Yeah. She still has it. Like, what a... She still has it and how far she's come. They gave us so many reunions, though. Are we going to get that one? I hope so, unless John like, dies. They've been handing us reunions. Like, they've been giving it to us. So. They have been giving. But, like, if he goes back, which I feel like he's going back, so hopefully Arya doesn't just, like, leave immediately. Yeah. I feel like we should get a reunion. Do you think that John... Because you kind of were like... D- d- why did you ask, does John know everything? Because did you feel like he shouldn't have been as mad at Theon? No, because I was wondering, is he going to be mad at Theon? Or is he going to be kind of like... Understanding. Water under the bridge because he knows what that he didn't really kill his brothers. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I was like, if he still thinks that Theon killed his brothers, he's going to like try and kill him right now. But if he knows, then he might just be like, what the fuck are you doing here, Theon? I still hate you, you know but what like, I, mean? I understand. But I'm not going to kill you. Yeah. Because he's still like... He didn't kill the brothers, but he still did so many fucked up things right. that it's like... Yeah. Betrayed the family enough. Rob, in many ways, suffered because of you. Right. Rob. Remember him? R.I.P. I think about him all the time. Who was Rob Stark? I love Rob Stark. The- Rob Stark feels like a legend to me now. Like, he almost seems like... Enough of the oh, show has passed like that bigger. he now feels like... 
he was an icon in the yeah. show. <laughs> icon status. Absolutely. Icon status for sure, yeah. yeah. Him well, and Catelyn. I know, they said her name once and I was like... Yeah. <laughs> oh, speaking of, I love... You brought up her conversation with Masande, but I also love Davos and John's conversation with Masande, and specifically yeah. her being like, well, you don't understand. We follow her because it was a choice, not because yeah. of the rules we that you to. guys follow. Mm-hmm. And I just love the way that she paints that. It's so funny when you like take the foreigners with the Westerners, and the way that they assume... like the these people are going to care about their politics or like the way that these people are going to care about who's on the throne and wh- who's in what kingdom like they're the foreigners are always like we don't know you <laughs> yeah. like, why do we care i've heard your name it but like, like humbles them a little bit yeah. like, there's a bigger world out in there in your country your guys are famous and we the have world... no fucking idea who you are like yeah I was, like, I was living in a completely different continent. Like, I didn't care about this woman because of some bloodline. You think I know your guy's bloodline? I think I remember I was a slave girl. I was from the Isle of Nath. We don't (laughs) have any idea about any of that. Yeah. Yeah, so that's, it's always a good moment to get some people put in check. Yeah. Wow. Oh, good episode. I love that episode. <laughs> wow. Wow. Good. Yeah, that was that. It's uh. It's really just that that final twenty five minutes or however long it is is just it's intense. It's intense and it's so another one of those Game of Thrones moments where it's so cinematic. Like you're watching these shots mm-hmm. and you're like, half of it looks like you don't know what's real, what's fake in terms of like CGI. It yeah. all looks real. It all looks great. They that do shot such of the dragon job. with the fire, it's like screensaver. Like put yeah. that on my computer. You yeah. know what I mean? It's like, gorgeous. It's like a movie. <laughs> even though everyone's burning alive. Like it's like gorgeous. Beautiful. It's a shot gorgeous it shot. Yeah. And I don't know if you caught it, but he the, the dragon blew up everything, but the gold did make it to King's Landing. So unfortunately Cersei still got to pay back the Iron Bank. But everything else was destroyed. When I first saw this show, I thought the gold was destroyed. And I was like, oh, Cersei can't pay back the Iron Bank now. The dragon just mm-hmm. melted all the gold. And then, like, I rewatched another time. I was like, oh, no. No, the gold is still around. around. Okay, 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 okay. Well, so, can't win them all. Can't win them all. But uh, hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you did, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button so you can stay up to date. We've only got three more episodes of season seven, which feels... Just crazy to say. It's like a whirlwind. We have less than 10 episodes of the entire series left. No, actually, I think exactly 10. There's eight in season eight? Or six. six. So we have nine episodes left total. Yeah. In the whole series. We have less than a season. I know. It's (laughs) crazy. crazy. It's really weird, yeah. It snuck up, but also not at all. It took a year. It took a long time. (laughs) But it snuck up. It's, yeah. Well, it's always, you're not ever ready for it something like this to end you know what i mean like once you're that into a show i feel like it's just like just keep making seasons because they become like your friends don't cancel it like i have to check in with them every year you're gonna never know what's going on with these characters yeah like no no, i need to know them aren't they still waiting on books though yes so yes but am i gonna go read all the books i don't know the books oh my god a lot of people think that he'll die because it's been the 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 the, author yeah because the period in between (laughs) the books is not as great as like you know the fifth book came out like almost 15 years ago or yeah. something like that so it's like so they're like does he have 15 more years there's a big pe- gap between this time period so people are just like okay well uh who's working you're on very that old. very very old but that being said addy uh just bought herself elden ring which was created by george R. R. martin I, yeah or co-created i saw or that I, 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 I don't think he created the whole I thing i didn't but. know about it but it popped up on my target app they were like do you want to buy this game and i was like that seems like something i'd like <laughs> and then it said george R. R. martin and i was like oh yeah he okay. heavily designed the lore and stuff like that yeah. so you're kind of Playing a Game of Thrones game. I am not. I haven't started it yet. Oh, she hasn't started it yet. I am very intimidated by that game. For those that play Elden Ring, you'll probably uh, need to send her some good positive energy and vibes for her journey through that game. Yeah. But that's going to include this video, guys. <laughs> we hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you in the next one.